Hey everyone, Scott Pinozzo here at the Intermediate. Uh, it is the most wonderful time of the year. Uh, we've got a snowstorm, looks like it's coming this way, uh, later on this week. And I wanted to ask for a little help um, as we start to navigate uh, the winter snow pile season. So uh, you can see here, I'm on a Google map, um, and here's the front parking lot of the school. Uh, right over here where my cursor is, is the main entryway. Uh, that's door number one. Um, and then as people come in um, and exit, this is um, Getty Street right here. Now, one of the things that I'm going to ask is as we start to get more snow piles, what ends up happening is we get a big bunch of snow piled up here. We get a big bunch of snow piled up here. This is where the buses exit. And then also a big one right here. Okay. And this is the one, these are the two that I'm really concerned about. This area right here where these old trees are at. And then this area right here where this big electrical box is at. Now, what's been happening after school, and before your eyes roll out of your head and say, Scott, I know there's no place to park, etc. Like, I totally get all of this. But there's been so many near um, accidents that I really just want to urge you to back up a little bit on Getty and, and get away from this area. So what's happening is we're getting a bunch of cars that are kind of lining up where, where this cursor is, up in front of this big power box right here, etc. And what that does, it cuts the line of sight off for the road. Um, and that's where a bunch of near accidents um, have been happening. So I'm just going to propose us trying something to see if we can um, help slow that down or maybe even decrease those chances. So right about here where this cursor is, and I just put this uh, little dot, there is a no parking sign right there. And I know this whole road is supposed to be no parking, but if we could keep all cars from like where this pointer is right now back towards the bottom of the screen here and not in this area, it's going to free up line of sight so that cars can get out of here a little bit better. And I think that that will actually help quite a bit. So again, not a lot of snow out there right now, uh, but I observed today that that is going to be a problem pretty soon. Um, and so if we can just keep cars out of this area, I'm going to try to get some cones out there as well. But the problem is going to be when the, when the plows start coming in, um, being able to keep those in one spot. So just going to give you a heads up for that. And now if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to give me a call or respond to this email. But again, we've got all of this street back here that you guys can park on. And I know it gets back down to here, um, you know, back towards RPL and stuff. Another little pro tip that I've noticed usually by 2.52, which is about, you know, 10 minutes after school gets out, this place is empty. So even if you waited a couple minutes, that would work as well. Another thing you could do is you could pick up back here in the cafeteria parking lot. Please try to avoid this area right here, back by the dugout. This is where the buses, some of the buses come out. We've got a couple special ed buses that are here for wheelchairs and stuff. Um, just keeping traffic out of that area makes it a little bit safer. So again, um, please help us out by staying away from this area right here when you're parking after school and this area up here because those snow piles are going to start to build up. Have a great day.